Hi everyone, Sean B. Martin here, and this is World Editing Episode 4. I have officially decided that this is a series, not just a once-off. I thought that eventually I would run out of World Edit things to do, but I'm pretty sure I can continue showing practical applications of World Edit as long as people can continue thinking of them. So that's what I'm going to plan on doing. And we're going to open this one with something new that... Um, I'm sure it has been done, but uh, I was talking about it with Unknown Demon and Stevie G, links in the doobly-doo, and they hadn't, hadn't seen it. Um, Alicia came up with the name Glacier Bay when we were designing the golf course, and I really liked it. And it is a real place we discovered in Alaska, uh, but I decided I should make some glaciers, and I did. And now I want to show you how you can make glaciers with World Edit. All right, so the first tool you're gonna to make use of is the brush tool. That is the first tool that you use for a lot of things. And if you remember from episode three, I showed you how to make mountains. You're kind of gonna start the same way. You're gonna make a brush out of sand. I'm sorry, <laughs> brush sphere out of sand. And uh, we'll do the largest radius uh, because that's what I wanna do. And uh, just plop down some, some sand sphere blocks, sphere blocks, some blocks of spheres. What? I don't know how to talk. Um, but, you know, fill up an area and uh, make a, some kind of islandy shape out in the middle of your water. And we're gonna, we're gonna make it a little higher on two. I'm gonna make like two peaks. Yeah. And then uh, I'll uh, switch it to a smooth brush to kind of even it out a little bit. Yeah, smooth, make it three wide, two iterations and then right click to smooth it out bring down that peak just a little bit smooth out the bottom okay want to get get the yes now oh, i got some <laughs> glitchy falling sand i want to make kind of a i want to make it so that you can actually climb it at least on one side okay you could climb it on that side now can you climb it on this side yeah, yeah, you could climb it on this side. Okay, uh, I'll bring that down a little bit and this down a little bit more. I still want the two peaks though. Yeah, cool. Okay, so now what you're gonna do <laughs> is uh, you're gonna change it to ice. And what I, I'll show you a mistake that I made, and then I'll show you uh, how to not make the same mistake. Uh, I'll, I'll put my first block over here and fly around over here. And uh, I should go like right here. I guess I can be here. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to fix that water then too. I'm gonna go way up, set that as my second point. Okay, now, I definitely have the whole glacier or what is to be the glacier selected. And I will change the sand to ice. So replace sand ice. Da -da. Okay, now let me show you the mistake I made. I'm going to deselect my selection so that you can see it. All right, can you see the mistake I made? <laughs> There's a big freaking box under the glacier. And if you downloaded the first download map, the one that also had the spawn hut burning down, then if you went out in the water, you would have seen this mistake under that glacier. Um, see what I did? I made a box around the glacier and then I changed it to ice and the problem with ice is you can see through it even under water. So it creates a very straight line. I'm not sure how dark this is. I'm sorry if you can't see very well. But uh, yeah, that's the mistake I made. So you don't want to do that. So let me reselect my selection and I'm going to select it the same way because there's no reason I can't select it the same way. And then I'll just modify it by a command. I'm going to fly up here to my glass block. Okay, now since I'm including the one level that is the floor, all I'm going to do is contract one up. There, now I should be missing that part of the sea floor right there. And uh, what I'm going to do is replace sand ice again. And now we should be gold. Now, now it should just be the part of the glacier that is above the sea floor. And yeah, you can see the sand right through it. I need to fix this water. I'm gonna, you know how to do that from the last one, hopefully. I'll just do fixed water. Oh, I'll make it nice and big. And there, it should go right up to the glacier. 
these uh, glitchy sand blocks will go away when I restart the server. It's just a, it's a glitch. And uh, that's it. That's how you do it. Um, Alicia suggested that I try and make the core of the uh, glacier out of snow. And I don't really know how to do that without making it... I, I, I could make a small glacier, turn it into snow, and then pile a bigger glacier on it and turn that into ice. But I could also do something like... Oh, I already deselected it. You could do something like place uh, random blocks of snow throughout it if you wanted. You would do something like this. You would replace sand and then do, I don't know, 90% ice, 10% snow, something like that. Or uh, using the proportions, of course. Don't forget, you can do 9% ice, percent... Yeah, that was right. 9% ice, 1% snow. And that would give you the same thing, 90 and, one, and 10. Okay, next thing. All right, I gotta say that looks pretty nice, right? The two glaciers, the three glaciers. And uh, if you downloaded this map, I, you guys are, aren't very observant yet because there's, I don't think anyone has told me that they've come over here and seen this. <laughs> um, if you head to the other side of the bay and keep walking a little bit, you will find one of Vance's awesome houses and I've never showed it and I just kind of expected you guys to find it when you download the map and as far as I know no one did so what's wrong with you guys look around there are things all over the place <laughs> uh, but we're gonna we're gonna do something else right now um, we're gonna demonstrate some more brush commands and the way I'm gonna do it is by building something so two secs Okay, so check it out. I made this little pattern. I don't know what it is, but I made it, and there it is. And we're going to use it for a little demonstration. I'm going to select it here. And I'm going to... Now, I told you before... i got to stop hitting that button. I told you before that uh, it matters when you copy where you're standing. And right now I'm going to tell you to ignore that because it's not going to matter for this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy and put it on the clipboard. Now, I don't think I've shown you this yet. You can set your brush to what's on the clipboard, and you do that by saying brush clipboard, okay? So now my clipboard is attached to my brush. Now keep in mind that it is flat. So if I like, if I shoot at a straight angle like this, it's not like it's gonna rotate it. It's gonna put it like it should be flat on the ground. So if I'm looking down at the ground, bump, 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 etc. It keeps doing that. How cool, right? I'm gonna undo a bunch. Okay. Um, now you can use a mask on this, just like you can with any other brush. So I'm gonna mask it on two and three, and then I'm gonna look here. And even though I'm clicking, nothing's happening. But if I click here, oh, got a partial one. Partial, partial. And look how cool that is. Pretty nice. Hello, cows. I saw you up here. Of course, you can do this with 3D shapes, too. So uh, I'm going to take my selection here and stack it three up. And then I'm going to expand my selection three up to encompass it. And I'm going to copy that. Copy. And then I'm going to make that the clipboard. Or I'm sorry, the brush. 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 I gotta learn to type with my fingers on the correct keys. Brush clipboard. And up in the air we go. And my mask is still set. So I'm actually gonna mask. Oh, we'll go over here. Here's some grass that I can mess up. I'm gonna leave those there for you guys. You have fun with them. And uh, it's now inputting a 3D piece. Watch this. See? There's now a 3D structure that it is placing. Pretty cool. If I uh, get it at an angle here, you can see it. There, check that out. I'm <laughs> displacing flowers. Okay, and uh, the last thing that I think I will show you is I noticed a pumpkin patch over there and I wanted to show you how you can make one. You can just type slash pumpkins and then a radius for how far you want the pumpkins to go. So I'll do like 15. Oh, look at that. Look how cute. I'm not sure why they all spawned <laughs> over in that direction, but yeah, you can do that. I'm gonna undo that. Uh, other ways you can decorate, you can do snow the exact same way. Snow, 15, you'll make a big circle of snow. That is actually how we decorated the mini golf course over there. And uh, unfortunately, 
the forest generation thing is not working for me. Any of you can weigh in on why this isn't working. I will show you what it does for me right now. If I type forest gen 10, it says this. Please report this error, Java, Lang, abstract method, error, null. I don't know what that means, and I've tried the other more complicated uh, forest syntax, which would be something like this, which I would be teaching you right now if I knew why it wasn't working, but that doesn't work either. So, yeah, anyone want to weigh in on why that's not happening? <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, so, uh, any ideas for next time for things that I should build? I could uh, show you how I built that lighthouse, for instance. That was all uh, world edit. If you want to know how I did that, that would be that would be a good lesson. Uh, the glaciers, definitely, that's that's fun, and um, I think we should have more glaciers in Minecraft. I wouldn't mind if it were part of a, a biome just by default, right? That would be pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think.